to be the kid that no one cared about That's why you have to keep screaming till they hear you out oh. Oh, season 10? Action packed season so far. Um, a lot of poor play. A touch of Spain. Um, from Spain, I go to England. I've not been in England before. So my tour continues. And Milan, my opponents in this one. Well, it was going to be England. Um, and the keep ball for us a bit. My Milan team, I'm facing not wanting to close me down. Uh, a bench shot, shot the that's wide. So, really he was quite content right for me to have the ball. As you can see, he's very calm here. Not really, I'm not really pushing forward because he's, he's sitting back. Waiting for me to do something. Cole gets the rebound, knocks it back, really hits the shot, hits the post, rebound, goal. Not the cleanest of strikes. You expect better from Rooney, but he's, his shot comes off the upright. It rebounds back out of the keeper, but he takes the ball. It's, it's not the cleanest of goals, but the rebound city, I, I take the lead, so... Um, yeah, I'm quite content. If I get the lead, I can actually do something with this ga with games because I'm very slow starting when um, I don't get a goal um, first. I can often shut down because my opponents, more often not the people I play against, just um, defend for a life. Anyway, um, the first half continued and I continue the same philosophy. Mm, just take my time. He's not really coming out, he's just sitting back. Johnson. And a header and into the goalkeeper's hands there. That's good lunch pins, good sides. Because you got Gerard and Parker in there and, they're, and they were utilising massive big long balls. And some crazy ass goalkeeper. They didn't mind they had three guys over there. And still I managed to go press that and block it out, so... <laughs> and usually I find that's taking the mickey, considering the defending I just thought they got so close to scoring and that has unleashed the Rooney and scored a crazy ass long goal. Um, well Milan backed off, I got the rebound for the post and the goal. And then that long shot from Rooney and the goal after the scramble of the line. They had changes to make and because they were two 0 down in that first half and virtually did the Milan team hadn't performed yet. My opponent does have tricks in his locker but obviously his defending wasn't good enough compared to my defending. Oh yeah. That was poor. As Pato follows through on the goalkeeper. Um, didn't look dangerous here, crazy cross, nobody seemed to defend it. And the volley finds top corner. This, this is from kickoff, so a definite wake up call for me. Not much danger here, Abiate, Boateng. Especially going 2 0 at half time, so I probably. Um, was a bit like less than defending. Allowing Patty to, to the score. So, a bit more pressure now. I'd given my, get my opponent the barn door open and he'd taken it with a plong Pato. Good volley though. Um, Milan 1, England 2. So, I shut down the second half with about 20 minutes to go. Nothing much has happened since that goal. Mainly because I've just done this for the most of the game, passed the ball about. Um, he was rushing to get the ball, but he wasn't getting much success. The tackle's there, getting lucky and bent just falling over. It's really clumsy football here. 
but they were doing just enough to stop me from getting another goal. Pato breaking through, gets lucky, knocks the ball across. Ibrahimovic got the score. Great defending there. Super defending again. So my defending had improved by a bit of bites because my defending last couple of games had been a bit sloppy. So I needed a good defensive performance. Uh, wasn't quite up to scratch, but I was doing well enough. Ibrahimovic in the wing, they were still using wings, which technically wouldn't really bother me, especially if Ibrahimovic was knocking it into the wee man paddle. That's not exactly going to be a danger for me. Confidence is there enough, because I was passing decently enough here. Nice wee flick-ups. Walcott's got it here, turns, lazy guy on his backside. Knocking it back when I can. Wiltshire. Cole. Ashley Cole and overlap here. Nice wee jink. Ashley Cole shot. Rebounds back at him. Cole shot again. And the keeper makes a good save. Palm the ball away. And away was the answer to this match. Milan 1, England 2. Yes, 9 points. 1 point off. There. And that leaves me seven points. Could I, in three games, spin them off and get promotion? The option was still there. But to guarantee myself in the division, in these three games, I had to get at least a point. So, at least that's doable. I can stay in the division and um, at least pick up the play. But who says I can continue the... The winning run and get three wins in the bounce. I bring out my next touring team and that is France. And Man City were going to be my opponents for this French blockade. Uh, blockade what I had to do here to block them off and clear it. Not much to commentate on the first half. The play from Man City was long. And the diving was short. Sacco. Um, he can't believe that. And Aguero and the save. Yes, I was still shit hard at goalkeeping saves. Crazy ass goal penalty um, and a good save to deny him, or it could easily have been a goal down. So, um, a bit of get out of jail free card going on here. I had to wake up, and that game did, that penalty did spark me into life because I, I didn't want to throw this game away. Certainly. I was going to play keep ball in the corner flag with Benzema. Diara tried to short pass, was just taken out, and then I get a penalty. Well, this got just slight size for me. Could I score, which he couldn't? Benzema. Yeah, I could. Uh, right in the middle. Benzema unleashes. And he must have been kicking himself, missed the penalty at one end, and I scored my penalty at this end. Certainly a game of two penalties. I've got the lead again, so consistently getting the lead here in, the, in these matches, so certainly I've run a, good, a, a better form than I had been for riding. But it was always going to be dangerous, it's counter-attack stuff, it's always going to be dangerous, but I tell you, and the big man puts it wide. Um, and he gave it very little. Probably did try to put too much into it. And, uh, he's in here. Yeah. And they've got this You've seen this one before. This is the infamous goalkeeper howler. Because the goalkeeper kicks the ball at we'll, we'll start from this replay. Right. The goalkeeper Lewis kicks the ball out. Midfielder doesn't head it, the other guy overheads it. And your defensive line is so bad when they head it back. You can't you just can't do anything. As a gaming floor. When do you see that in football? Where they get give the goal kick 
you kick it out and you head it back and the guy is miles away ahead of your back line. Wait, when does that ever happen in football? They need to fix that, seriously. If they don't go around and fix that at FIFA, see, uh, it's something not right. Your defender should be in front of that guy. Because you can't control them because you're trying to head the ball. So how can you can switch to get the defenders to stand in line at the same time as heading the ball? It's impossible. Anyway, I've had my rant about the retarded FIFA heading system. Um, I was pegged back. So 1-1. One, one. one point would actually, ironically enough, keep me in division. So it wasn't all out. Um, I could still keep pushing to get that promotion. I would just need to win the last two games still. So um, this wasn't all out. All out, you see. And if I got a goal, I could easily win the match still. So it's on the knife edge at 1-1. One, one, so there's potentially chances coming. And Benzema's away. Say by heart, and I can't get the header because um, I, because of Man City players. Meanwhile, I could easily get the points all ripped from me. Man City still attacking. David Silva's cross, the header away, and back to Lorisia. Cobbed it enough defending. He runs through the back and he wins the ball back. Silva again, Aguero, Balotelli, and the save. Has to be made by Lloris. My attacking was at a premium. This match was kind of attack versus defence because Man City's team are quite compact defence, so you don't want to give them chances like that. Balotelli, if I got sloppy, I would throw everything away, and the pressure on Man City the last couple of minutes was quite intense. I was actually trying to get out for a respite. There wasn't any chance for me to attack. I had to sell for the point. That point keeps me in division. I lose the two games to play with the promotion chances seeming an outside shot. Right. So, two games, six points required. Is it possible that I could do that? I had to bring out something. Something Dutch. Something dangerous. So Holland is my team of choice. Bayern, my team ag against. It had to be nothing but victory if I was going to get a promotion. Any but victory in this match and it's all over and I was going to have to do the division again. So... My quest to get back to Division 6 held in this one match. Early possibilities were that Bayern through Robin were going to be dangerous. And that I was going to have to defend well if I was going to stop them from doing anything. And the booming cross here. Yeah. I was going to pass the ball about like there is no tomorrow. When you get teams like this who proceed to run at you about 200 miles per hour, the best way to play against them is to keep the ball. To keep the ball moving. Because you'll get frustrated the fact you can't get the ball. You can see all the players running about the pitch and you just pass the ball, you just keep passing away and you'll quite happily frustrate your opponent and they'll make a mistake by bringing too many guys out and you'll punish them what's going on I've... I've what? I've lost connection <laughs>